Hi, in this video I'll show you how to modify your DL103 Denon cartridge so to adapt it to the Audio Musecraft shell kit. The first thing I can suggest is to uh, install a white sheet of paper on your work area. So this way you'll see, you'll easily see your moves and it'll be brighter to work. The tools I use for the modification is a sharp blade knife and sometimes a flat screwdriver. I'll talk about the screwdriver later in the operation. So, um, the most thing important is holding the guard against the cartridge. The way I have found over time is to is to hold it this way with this finger this finger here against the cartridge and the, the guard. So I apply pressure on the rear with this finger here. So this way is it's secure and um, there's no danger that the uh, guard comes off. The problem doing this operation is that we need to apply pressure, we need some force while manipulating the knife. And it's quite dangerous with the sharp blade to uh, cut herself or to broke the cantilever. As it's a small piece, we need to apply lots of pressure. But the way I work, I hold it very firmly so there's no danger to uh, do wrong moves. The next thing I can, which will help you, I'll put the original just beside. This is an example or one that has been done. What's important to remember is there are four contact points. One here, one there, one here on this side, and one on the other side. I'll zoom a bit so you be able to see more in details what I'm talking about. So we have two here on the rear side, which corresponds to this here and there, and two other ones that are perpendicular to these ones up here and up there. So here and here. So I'll proceed with the modification. Again, always use, always keep the guard on. So as you can see, I have my finger here on the back and I have pretty much pressure applying on the cartridge. So I could start here or I could start here. Usually I start here. I prefer to go this way and start like this. So you go slowly, just insert your blade at the right place. And it's pretty much easy. What you need to do is bring the blade to the bottom part here of the plastic shell. So again, as you can see, I'm putting some down force against the table. There's no problem as the guard is on. And I bring the, um, the blade to the lower part. When I retrieve, what I like to do is to go like this. So I don't, I don't cut myself. I do the other side. See, it's pretty easy. It comes off. The glue is not a, it's not a hard glue. It's a soft glue. So now I remove it. Sometimes the cartridge starts to come off. See here. I hope you can see. Now I'll do the again. Applying some pressure on with my finger on the back, holding firmly the cartridge, doing the sides. 
one two I remove the knife the other side there whoop okay on this one I'll have to limit the uh, that the cartridge comes out so to uh, the way I see it presently the the four contact points have loosened we can see a bit also that there is a bit of uh, spacing here sometimes I use the flat uh, screwdriver and twist the blade like this so the um, cartridge what we want to do is to flip the cartridge like this so I'll show you the other way which I usually do is I put my fingernails here here and I tilt apply force like this and tilt the cartridge presently it's not working so again I'll redo this exercise Don't apply, don't uh, insert your blade too far as there are some uh, uh, fragile uh, wires in the back. Again here, just push. Usually it's <laughs> because of the video but uh, usually it's way easier than this okay now try to tilt it again okay it's coming okay this time I'll have to use the, um, the screwdriver sometimes it's way easier easier the uh, the shell the plastic shell uh, swivels and comes out very easy okay it's a good thing in another way that I have to show you this. Um, okay, I'll have to insert the uh, the flat blade uh, screwdriver here, but I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a small, um, I think they call it the yoke, or part of the motor, which is a middle lick part. If you insert the, the, the blade, your screwdriver blade, just make sure you don't go too deep. I'm starting to s there now there it started to separate one thing I have not uh, mentioned if you use uh, metallic tools try to work with the uh, stainless steel tools once uh, you'll remove the uh, plastic shell it becomes uh, dangerous to so it um, it is attracted to the um, magnetic uh, system of the cartridge so okay what uh, what like I said what we want to do is to swivel the shell plastic shell uh, in this in this way So there it's done. The last step to do is to remove the exceeding glue. But before manipulating what I was uh, saying earlier, here there are some very thin wires. You don't put your fingers there. And the cantilever is very sensitive. So if you, uh, if you trip it, it'll break. So the a secure place to hold the shell is here or on its rear wall right here without making making sure you don't put your fingers close to the uh, the wires. So usually see how I take it. What we can do is remove the glue here. 
There's not much, so we're okay with this one. Now, as you can see, there is some a bit here on the side, which is great. Try to be careful not to go in the zone where the small wires are and watching my fingers for the uh, not to trip the cantilever because it will cost you a cartridge so this side is pre pretty much clean the other side also just have a small small one here to move There we go. So the next thing to do is to okay. I may uh, I can suggest you also um, to be um, more precautious when I sometimes I need to uh, manipulate many shells, not many shells, but many uh, cartridge like this. Uh, if I have to go somewhere, I'm uh, I try to uh, and I try, but I put my hand underneath and when I go somewhere. So in case I uh, I drop it, it'll drop in my hand or I'm being I'm being careful. I don't want to take any chance that it falls on the floor. So okay, now what I can show you once this is done, uh, there's no other modification to do on the on the cartridge. It's the um, the audio musgraf shell is precisely machined to receive it as is. You don't have to file the plastic like other companies or whatever. So the, the only thing you have to do is remove the four screws on the shell. Always keep your surface area clear, keep your tools away, so it works better this way. Once the cover is removed, you flip the cartridge and insert it in the shell. So that's it for now. If you're not comfortable on doing this modification, don't hesitate to call us and ask. Well, uh, it'll be a pleasure for us to do it for you uh, in exchange of a small fee. And uh, don't hesitate if you have any questions. It'll be a pleasure, as usual, for us to help you out. Thank you for watching this video and visit our website. Thank you.